Well hello everyone and welcome back to another video with some F1 22 game news. Today, well there's been a whole host of articles being released. Um, I haven't been able to go through every single one of them but um, these are the ones that were available um, at the time of recording. I'll leave a link so you can go and read them all for yourself in the description below. There's nothing official from EA today um, so far. Um, but as the, there's a lot of people driving um, um, other tracks releasing gameplay for those lucky people who've got the uh, early access to the game so yes first of all um, now you're not this isn't this isn't a great thing because as you know we the feature that we're going to be playing the most on f122 single player career man well, and my team um but well, a quote from this article will have both have minor improvements over f1 2021 it, it seems that everything has been put into the f1 life basket and i think you know as there was that leak that you know we were going to those super about the supercars again um, there'll be a nice thing at some point during the video taken to the playlist for this series so you can go and check out all of the episodes that you've missed so far if you've missed any game news so, by, so far but one of those things was of course that the supercars were apparently going to be in multiplayer and then FOM said no to that but anyway um, acting as a central hub so the players customise avatars so this is good at least the avatars have been improved but are we still gonna that's still a lit we still haven't seen what exactly what customization we're gonna be able to do with the avatar yet. Um, F1 Life will feature a range of customizable items including clothing and accessories for our not that I care, furniture. Um, apparently um, we're gonna be able to move a war we're gonna have a wardrobe simulator and items to display in the per in a personal lobby and trophies won during races, typical stuff there. Apparently we're getting some sort of apartment as I said in the previous episode with F online. Um, as well. And confirmation um, you will we will be able to drive the safety car so this is good um, there'll be time trial events um, and then there's also going to be autocross i don't quite know what that means and checkpoint challenges which are boring remember how checkpoint challenges were on with classic cars and how nobody played that game mode as well supercars be integrated into career and my team modes um, so that might be the, the minor improvement um, and obviously the safety cars are deluxe bonus items whether they'll only be in the champions mode we'll have to wait and see uh, players on PC will be able to play um, in VR um, including and you'll also be able to be able to race online against players who don't have VR um, but I think I read somewhere else that the PlayStation VR isn't being supported so it's only on PC um, as well you're not going to like the next paragraph though other improvements to F122 includes minor enhancements to car customization and livery editing we'll now be able to we, unfortunately no livery editor we have still got the preset designs um, but now you can select your various paint finish such as glossy matte and metallic except mods have been doing that for absolutely ages and you'll be able to copy and paste color values it's not great that is not a great improvement we were all looking for a full-on livery editor like is in f1 mobile racing and pretty much every other game racing game that has customization in car customization helmet customization whatever we can put your purse and customize stickers whatever for some reason f122 doesn't have that option as well presentations being given an overhaul i mean 
well so the broadcast means that you can skip the formation lap but I mean is that actually going to be an advantage because although you're going to be able to point your car in a certain direction it I don't think the AI will be will point their car they're just going to line up normally so if you want that if you don't want it depends how much an advantage you want to gain on the AI on the start mm, that's a good that's that's um that's interesting um jumps immediately to restarts obviously if you have that broadcast option commentary options have expanded which means you, you can finally fire david croft um alex jacks who's done the f2 commentary is also available for f1 um commentary natalie pinken as well is also in the game and i think th i was reading elsewhere that they've got John Eric Verne for the French version as well, so they've got more people on board. Or obviously, um, not just whatever. I don't know what I don't say. I've never played the. I don't know what was there before, um, for in other languages other than English, um, as well. I think in Canada you can have Jack Villeneuve as well, um, but only in Canada. Um, if you're in Canada, um, now. Uh, porpoising um, isn't in the game partly because um, they never factored it the, the simulator that Merce he said the Mercedes Lee Mather of course has lied through his backside for many years about what's actually in the F1 game and also the problems with the F1 game um, he says the simulator at Mercedes didn't pick up the issue, which is true. That is that is one of the few truths that Lee has told. But you know, you know, you need to be looking at that. Okay, well, we're, we're presumingly there's going to be at some point a performance patch. There will, there always is with the F1 game. So there'll probably be a performance patch at some point to shift the performance. Why not say as part of that performance patch? we're going to add porpoising to the game um obviously there's that new handling model on their aero balance i don't as I, as I speculated previously i don't know if the aero model is new absolutely brand new because it was only a brand new model in f1 2021 um as well and obviously it's a new tire model also in f1 2021 so whether or not they've just adapted those models but apparently they do feel bigger to drive. Obviously, the Sashi model wasn't wasn't new, so whether or not they've introduced a new Sashi model, which they probably have for F122. Um, obviously, um, I've mentioned previously about the new colour midfield challenge or title um, contender. Each mode it sees expanded department events with escalations you don't handle issues well. So you also have targets based on your rivals and season goals. So that's well targets is interesting. Uh, hopefully they introduce targets to driver career mode as well. It'd be nice to have that target in there as well. Um, based I mean based on the, the team has a give you a goal that you get in currently in drive career mode the team principal or whoever it is whichever person they've got face scanned into the game uh, sends you an email telling you what their expectations are for the season you should be able to okay, be able to then have a season report basically that would be nice um, as well and also the rivalry as well and that's a small thing you know small thing that should be could probably be added but um that's not confirmed to drive a career mode it is confirmed for my team that have targets um as well and then my team also a more integrated approach to questions i mean i think that means interviews rather than affecting your standing as in previous games would be now more topics and cross-thread questions which interesting because as we know Claire was absolutely useless in year games gone by so whether or not we're gonna get the same Claire um, just with more questions we don't know we'll have to wait and see about that um, also just now you may have seen obviously in F1 manager 22 they're having the budget cap 
in my team there is no budget cap um, obviously there is that um, three starting points but there's no budget cap how hard do you think it would be to implement a budget cap as well so again from that point of view the economics of my team is a lot less realistic and i wonder if they're not bothered about this because they know that F, that f1 manager is going to have that in-depth manager board and they've said look we're not going to be able to compete with that so what, let's not bother with that but you know i think that the budget cap is a big point you know yes you yes you then it's then my team will never be able to take on uh, the likes of f1 manager in terms of that um, management side but it should at least have some more management stuff other than department events and designing the design and delivery and doing some occasionally spending a, f a few money and this, i imagine that once again they probably haven't tested the game because if you if you are far into your career mode um, and you, if you want proof of this, just look up any F1 YouTuber, for example, Arava. His career mode, he's got like $40 million lying about that just sitting there. He's got nothing to spend that on. So, you know, there's lots of stuff that needs to be rebalanced, but I don't think we're going to see that in this year's career, career modes. Customising your own experience is increasingly important in video games. Um, Plus, you'll get your own living space, as I said. Prob most likely going to be a house or an apartment, more than an apartment, with a garage as well. You can place furniture so you can have your own piece in the F1 universe um, as well. So, again, wardrobe simulator. Um, where you'll find you both racing and casual clothing, so you can lose your mark on the game with style. Not really. Um, uh, what you can get out of it, well, in the multiplayer area, you can show your appearance to others and vice versa. Do I really want to look at other people's appearances? I want, in the multiplayer area, I want to race other people, not actually see them. Maybe as, as a celebration, but other than that, no. Uh, for many years, it has been possible to run practice programs in pre-practice sessions. As we know, they've already been um, overhauled. Um, now this is a bit vague, but the braking zone, acceleration zones are more indicated optionally on the track, so the player has a better idea of what they're doing um, as well. So apparently there's, they've based, I don't think, maybe they've not actually overhauled the practice programs in, that, in, the, in the way we think they have. Maybe they've changed the reporting elements out of it and changed the imp the outputs out of it to make it more realistic. That might be what they've done to practice programs. Um, after all, um, another technical feature, obviously rumored before, crossplay is available. So confirm it is now confirmed now that you can, if you're on PC, you can play against consoles. Um, but this is delayed because it's coming post launch so you won't be able to do this on launch, on day one launch day which is not a surprise because if you ever played multiplayer on day one launch day it's absolutely terrible and absolutely broken um, as well it, now obviously it says here the budget cap you just heard a quote from Lee May that said there is no budget cap um, as well this is in actual fact referring to those three starting budgets um, but I'll mo move on to the innovation in the area is failed development so they've made some changes to R&D um, in F122 this will have a bigger impact so failed developments can bike you in the backside later in the game so you, you really have to you'll really have to react more adequately to situations in the factory a little bit vague with that so maybe maybe you know that I don't know, quite know how that's going to um, play out yet and I don't really know how that's going to work as well I can't vision that I, can't, I don't have a, a vision for how 
yet frail developments can really um, unless it impacts other developments but um, yes we'll probably find about more that later um, a quick thing about uh, driver um, ratings obviously they'll be rev um, excuse me they will be um, redone for F122 as well as they as they are for every game. They'll probably be updated as well. Um, note for focus um, here. In terms of things like focus sets, based on instance, if they have a number of instances, what types of instance were they penalties? Are they their fault? Are they a car fault? As any circumstances we can bring into it, it's a fair way of determining those figures, and we have various other things: fastest laps, qualifying positions, and positions gained. So clearly, um, that focus is being given a little bit more. Um, either this is the same focus, which I doubt it. More likely that they, hopefully, that they've actually looked at focus, and that every AI driver isn't now losing focus on a regular basis. And we're trying to make as many statistics as we can, put them in the spreadsheet, run them through the numbers, um, and then simulate a driver rating at the end um, and will there be classic cars tracks and drivers in F122 um, well we already know that there won't be classic cars but we assume that the feature was a potential of F1 life as they were so as they were missed in the last entry about the tracks meet the same I'm gonna say watch this space now remember in the last episode there was that thing about having to be able to download tracks post launch nice and vague so could be having could we be having a classic track dlc or are we just going to be getting updates to tracks or just something else to think in mind there is that tbc round as well could that be coming post launch as well um we'll have to wait and see um one of the driver icons isn't returning from the previous game we don't know which one um could be senna but bearing in mind that senna license for anything with senna is very costly um, and obviously there'll be some new icons ruining as i've already speculated hopefully one of them is one manual fangio as well so yes that's where i'm going to leave it for today's episode i hope you have enjoyed if you did leave a like subscribe channel and you see plenty more F122 game news as of when they come out. If I find some more stuff um, on the game, then I'll make another video probably later in the week, possibly Thursday. If not, it'll probably be next week at the earliest um, before the next video on F122 game news comes out. So, yes, until the next video, then I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your day and goodbye.